Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the lecture number 6 on solid state physics. Today we want to discuss about the qualitative description of the phonon spectra in the solid. You can see this is the syllabus of Calcutta University's 6th semester solid state physics. This portion that is the crystal structure we already discussed. And we continue the next portion that is uh, lattice, vibration and photon and linear and monoatomic uh, uh, acoustic and optical phonon already discussed. Today we want to discuss about the quality description of the phonon spectra in solid. In the upcoming session we will be continuing the next portion also. Right. So let's start. Uh, what is phonon? Actually you know the quanta of the electromagnetic wave is photon which uh, occupy the energy h nu and the total energy is equal to n into h nu. That is the uh, quanta of the electromagnetic wave is known as the photon or you can say quanta of the light is photon. Similarly, the quanta or the smallest value of the lattice vibrational energy or electrostatic wave is known as the phonon. So, uh, phonon is similar to photon uh, where photon is for quanta of electromagnetic wave and phonon is the quanta of lattice vibration or the elastic wave. Clear? The energy of the phonon is similar to that in the energy of the photon also because you know photon particle is the dual nature that is its have wave nature and the particle nature and their interrelation is uh, denoted by d Bogli wavelength you know lambda equal to h by p where lambda is the wavelength of the particle that is the wave nature and p is the linear momentum of the particle that is the particle nature so wave nature and the particle nature are interlinked of anybody similarly in case of the lattice vibration this wave also associated with the particle nature and related by the de Broglie wavelength. That's why this wave also valid uh, relation uh, also valid the relation of the phonon that is equal to h nu like photon. Okay. And this number of photon in a vibration is related with this equation that is n bar equals to 1 by h nu kt minus 1. Here k is the Boltzmann's constant. You can write as kb also and this new is the frequency of this uh, wave that is the photon or phonon you can see so from this relation you can easily find out when temperature is increased when temperature is increased this is uh, reduced that means this portion reduced so finally n also increased so increasing temperature enhance the number of average number of photon and reduction of this temperature reduce the number of photon Right. So, this is also similar for that of phonon also. Frequency of phonon wave is ranging from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 12 CPR circle per second. So, this is a wide range of this frequency. You know, the for electromagnetic wave, their range is 0 to infinite or you, you can see this 0 is um, DC signal. So, uh, but here the phonon's frequency range is like that. And phonon has both particle and wave nature as we asked her before like here two experimental results actually says or prove that that is the phonon exist what number one the heat capacity approach is zero as the temperature approach zero when the temperature is zero this heat capacity also zero and this can be explained on the, on the lattice vibration are quantized when we take the phonon concept then we can explain the uh, phenomena that is the heat capacity heat capacity goes to zero when temperature goes to zero absolute temperature then heat capacity must be zero and this can be explained by this phonon concept right and the crystal uh, scatter x-ray the neutral uh, inelasticity the change in momentum and the energy during the process can be explained by the gain or loss of phonon that is when the crystal scattered by this uh, any light and there is a loss or gain of energy that can be explained by the phonon concept so these two experimental existence uh, prove that the, there is a exist of phonon what is the quanta of lattice vibration and this phonon and photon are interrelated okay so that can be explained by the momentum concept 
that is you know from de Broglie hypothesis that is the linear momentum is h by lambda that is h cross k right h cross mean h by 2 pi and 2 pi by lambda equal to k so this is h cross k the wave vector from conservation when there is no phonon then you can write down in case of photon k prime equal to k plus g and g is the reciprocal lattice vector you all know about the reciprocal lattice vector from the previous lectures so if you multiply by h cross you will be obtained this one so this is the momentum conservation in case of the elastic collision but in case of non-elastic collision this is known as normal process uh, energy also con uh, conserved in case of this is all are the elastic con uh, elastic process where there is no phonon concept but in case of inelastic collision there is a phonon concept and phonon can be emitted or absorbed in case of emission this k prime plus k is equal to k plus g and similarly if you multiply by g this is the momentum conservation and energy conservation says that the h cross omega ph for phonon uh, here we need to write down the okay there is a capital uh, frequency of phonon this is the uh, we need to change uh, like that this is the there is a serial suffix ph okay ph. and this is omega so in case of uh, energy conservation we can write that is the total energy of this incident photon is uh, uh, used as the outgoing photon and this photon okay and similar for uh, incoming in case of the incoming or absorbed phonon uh, you can write down that is the k prime is equal to k plus small k this is small k this is capital k this is for photon and this is for phonon okay and multiply this one this is the momentum conservation this is the energy conservation so you can easily find out here that is in these two case where the inelastic collision happening that's omega phonon is not equal to omega prime phonon that's these two are phonon uh, the, the, uh, the frequency of this photon are not equal that is the energy are not equal that means some energy is converted into the phonon and this is known as the u process that is the a phonon created or absorbed by this process this is known as the flipping over or uh, um clip um so that's why this is called u process and the previous one this is called n process that is the normal process so i think clear how uh, phonon created or absorbed next thing is the elastic collision or uh, scattering by photon by uh, scattering of photon by phonon by using phonon you can scatter the photon like that that is the phonon photon interaction this is the phonon photon interaction and the frequency of phonon is nothing but ck by mu mu is the refractive index so new lambda equal to velocity velocity can be written as the c by mu that is the refractive index so if you multiply the h cross you will be obtain this relation uh, this is momentum conservation this is energy conservation and this velocity of uh, omega can be written as vsk so v is very much less than c or c by n so finally omega phonon is very much greater than to omega so just taking account uh, here actually the uh, uh, frequency of the photon is very much greater than the frequency of the phonon right this is the frequency of photon and this is the frequency of phonon and this is very large so from relation this relation you can easily say that these two are nearly equal so k is nearly equal to k prime so these two are nearly equal that means uh, if you added this summation from uh, because capital k is nothing but small k minus small k prime right actually we can write these things that is the capital k is nothing but small k minus small k prime so if you just uh, use the formula of addition you can easily find out that relation so omega and k of this phonon that is the uh, wave number and the frequency of the phonon can be calculated like this this is the expression so i think clear about the concept of phonon and photon also is you know all, all about this so in, in in the upcoming session we will be discuss about the specific heat. this is very important part so stay connected this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get a free related video some mathematics like this session if you learn something for this session 
Share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe to the channel if you need this channel. Those already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. Click the bell icon to get notification of our future. So take care. We'll meet you in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.